What's up everybody? It's Jeff coming back to you on the West Seattle Bowl Pro Shop YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the DVA Mantra. Uh, we're going to be comparing that against my Eternity, which is usually one of the first balls out of my bag on the house pattern. Uh, ben drilled this Mantra to be a little bit more mellow for me, uh, not as sharp on the back end. The layout is 45 by 4.5 by 45. So that's something a little different than what I have. Um, and we're gonna check that out today. So let's get started. <laughs> that does not do ball carry. But a good shot nonetheless. So a couple more here and then we'll switch over to the mantra and see what we got going on. So we know what that eternity does. Now we'll come back, uh, we'll grab the mantra. Again, layout for me, throw that into the camera. Pin up there. All right, let's see what we got here. That's pretty clean. All right, so not as much, not as much kick as that eternity which is good. I need something like that a little lower in the bag that's pearl. Um, so let's go a couple boards to the right here and see what we come up with. Ooh, I didn't throw that very good, but that held the line. Uh, so let's see what, try another one here. I did not throw that one very good, but that had a good, uh, good result. That's a little better shot. All right, well, that's good. It's down the lane is not super jumpy off the back end. The attorney has definitely got more kick on the back end uh, for me. So I think that this is a, this is a pretty good layout. I like to see the ball do that. I don't want to see it over jump. I don't like the huge hockey stick as they call it. I would rather see it roll, roll a little cleaner and, and not be so aggressive on the back end of the lane. That's a little better shot. Yeah, see, for me that is, that is golden. I don't want to feel like if I miss right, it's gonna over jump. That was pretty clean through the front, not too aggressive on the back end of the lane. I'm just a couple boards right of where I was playing with the Eternity. Uh, so I feel like this is gonna be a good compliment to that. That's a good shot. I like that. Let's see if we can get one even further right. I want to see if I get it right a little early. What's going to happen here? Let's see if it jumps. So that was good. I made sure to get it right. Ball didn't overreact. Just nice and nice and mellow on the back end of the lane. I, uh, I'm liking this one for sure. Oh, a little off the shot there, but. Oh, man. I didn't throw that very good. But again, the ball gets down to the back end of the lane. I feel like with the eternity, that would have went through the face. That's a big four. You know, maximum penalty. This ball's got a little bit more leeway. That's a better shot. Yeah, I like to look at that. I'm gonna go like four right. I'm gonna look a little further down the lane and square up, see if I can't get the ball to skid a little bit more and see and see what happens. Maybe put a little, a little more pepper on it, a little more ball speed. Ooh. 
That was not a very good shot. Let's try that again. Ah. Yeah, we're out in the we're out in the friction too soon for that to, to be a thing. Now I'm gonna go back to the original spot I was at, move a couple left, slow it down, and see what that looks like. Oh, that's good. Got a little bit of versatility here. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's pretty deep in the oil for that ball. Let's try it again, maybe even a little slower, see if I can make it take the corner. Got it a little bit to the right. It's not bad, but that's not ideal for me. That's not, uh, that's not how I roll normally. But it shows that you can hit the pocket with that ball from a wide variety of different angles. All right, we'll go back to the original spot, see where see where we're at again, and uh, shut this thing down. That's a good shot. Peaked in. Yeah, I like that. I don't think you actually want to get that ball to the right too fast. <laughs> that, that ball rolls good. Yeah, Ben and I were just talking off camera. Might need to take the polish off because everything is pretty smooth, pretty predictable, um, the shiny. Um, if we just knock the shine off a little bit, I think that it would make it even more smooth, more predictable. All right, so Ben and I, we talk, we're gonna knock the shine off here. 2000 Aberlon. I'm gonna preemptively move a couple boards left just gotta break it in once it's a, a fresh surface. And let's see, see if this changes the reaction at all. All right, let's try that again with a little bit of, little bit of lane shine on it. That was pretty smooth. I think that with the polish knocked off, you could probably start with that ball and just be, you know, somewhere like I would probably start with that ball similar to where I started with the Eternity, Eternity with with the polish knocked off in 2000. You get that one right a little bit earlier. Um, as you can see, the, the friction, it burned it up a little faster, a little week 10. Ooh. Yeah, that one was, a, I was left to target early, held in the oil longer. So, just a different look. With, with the surface knocked, or the, the polish knocked off and added a little bit of surface. I wouldn't necessarily say better, just different, for sure. All right, we'll throw one more. Close this out here. That's a better shot. Oh, wrap 10. All right, that's all I got for today. Uh, summarize the mantra. Seems like a pretty versatile ball. Um, 
seems safe, predictable, um, not super hockey stick. So I think I'm going to use this uh, when some of my pro stuff is too aggressive on the back end. Uh, this feels a little, a little safer for me. So uh, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. All the support. Uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the flip side.